Uh, evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for some Dr. News. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you on some level that could be deeply spiritual, physical, or just plain. Oh, my gosh. It's like magical constipation of the soul, isn't it? But okay, moving on. Uh, first off, um, and I know this isn't doctor related, but I wanted to mention this is that Mystery Science Theater is now officially coming back and there's still work to do. But the reason why is there is a campaign going right now um, that's being run by Joel Hodgson, the, the, the guy who originally created the, you know, the original show. And this is via Kickstarter. And so far they have raised more than $2 million hitting their first goal, which puts them for the three-episode mark. Um, you see, if they keep this up... Um, for some reason, the graphic isn't coming up. Very sorry. Um, but basically, the, what, what they've got said is if you get it, once they hit a certain goal, they're gonna, you're going to get a certain number of episodes. And three episodes was the $2 million, $2 million mark. And damn, they've already shot past that and they've got 24 days to go. I think the next bar is $5 million, And I think that's uh, five episodes or six episodes, something like that. But so, Please, if you're a fan of MST3K and all that, I'm going to leave this link down in the you know, box with the other articles and be sure to go take a look. If you want it right here, this link on this page will take you to the Kickstarter page. Um, it's just, if you've ever watched this show growing up, it is freaking hilarious. If you haven't, um, look around on YouTube um, and some other places. Chill, watch the clips. You will laugh your head off at some of the stuff. Oh, uh, but okay, let's get into Doctor Who, shall we? All right, first up, we got Face the Raven introduction. Uh, this is 40 seconds long. Um, mm, some ominous words here and there, but still, a lot of people are starting to believe, no, I don't think they're going to whack Clara. You know, at least that's the general consensus, you know, from what we've seen. But you never know, do you? Ah, uh, well. Moving on, 10 teasers for uh, Face the Raven, and this was put up over on the Idiot Box. Okay, the doctor nearly has a garden wedding. Pick, to, pick up my most annoying stuff. 82. Countdowns have never been so ominous. You may learn something new about cartographers. The doctor could never resist a mystery. Always listen to the small print. The universe can be very small. Just who's in charge and flowers. Okay, intriguing stuff, intriguing stuff. All right, moving on. Okay, um, this is an interview with Sarah Dollard on Face the Raven. Um, if it, it was pretty informative. She does go into a wee bit of stuff about the episode, but nothing spoilery. So you may want to check it out. Um, it's very informative, very you know, very entertaining. And I, you know, I zonged through it really quick earlier, and I got a kick out of it. So I'm going to pass this one on to you. Also, you may want to read this as well. Um, this was over on the writers' room on the BBC site. And um, someone wrote in my dreams to be a screenwriter. Do you have any advice? And Sarah Dollard answers the, you know, this questions here. So very, very entertaining vid, you know, and very, very entertaining, you know, read, please go check this out. Okay. Extended episodes for the series season conclusion. All right. BBC confirmed that the final two episodes of the series nine heaven sent hell bent will both run in extended time slots. Now, the penultimate episode, Heaven Sent, will run 55 minutes and has been confirmed for the transmission time of 8.05 to 9 p.m. on the 28th of November. Uh, Hell Bent has been set to run in a 65-minute slot starting at 8 p.m. on the 5th of December. And, of course, the two episodes will deal with the consequences of Episode 10, Face the Raven. So, interesting. All right, moving on. Publicity for Face the Raven. Uh, there's a quick synopsis right here. We've already read this. All right. A little bit of cast information, whatnot. But what is really interesting, besides the fact is that another set of, you know, linked to the pictures, is the fact you've got the air dates, air times, and whatnot right here for various uh, nations on the planet. So if you're somewhere on the world, you know, and you're actually watching this, and you actually stumble onto this, boom, just look up, you know, whatever channel, whatever nation you're in, and boom, you're all set. All right, Radio Times could miss your return in the finale. Some people have their suspicions. Um, that's a good question because, you know, considering how many times we've had it drop that apparently it was Missy who put the doctor and Clara together, it, you know, it would only be fitting if she was there to see how it ends up. So we're going to have to really sit down, wait, and see how that turns out because I honestly cannot tell you. 
I'm not one of them guys who got a preview copy and then went blabbed about it on a forum on Gallivray Base. Yeah, uh, by the way, thanks guys. You're the reason why one of my sources clammed up because now they're afraid they're going to get discovered because you can't keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. I had to throw that in because that's the truth. Um, you, when you get privileged information like that, you should learn to, as we said, uh, and I know as I used to say at happy days, you should learn to sit on it, but, oh, uh, well, but lastly, um, if you haven't heard about this yet, um, big finish have announced the war, uh, war doctor, uh, number one, and it's, uh, it's, uh, this box that's going to be called only the monstrous. Uh, here's the pictures for it right here. And they also have synopsis for these three adventures. And it's going to be interesting, you know, to hear some of the stuff that went on during the time, you know, of the, the, the time war, you know, with uh, the war doctor himself, you know, see what happened. We all, I'll maybe even hear about some of the quote unquote atrocities that he had to commit that, you know, Peter Capaldi alluded to in the Zygon inversion. So mm, interesting stuff. I'm really looking forward to giving this a listen when it pops out. Uh, matter of fact, I think this is already, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. So if you want to read about the details of it right here or boom, bounce on over to the big finish site and boom, matter of fact, you can pre-order it right here. And you can pre-order all four Walker, War Doctor box sets plus the Eighth Doctor prequel story right here. So sounds good to you. Please go check this stuff out, man. Because this is you know we're gonna have John Hurt back as the Doctor. Sure, it's not gonna be on in a video format, but audio can be fantastic. I'm not kidding. I cannot you know praise Big Finish Audio enough for you know so many moments I've gotten with various Doctors across 200 plus adventures on their main range now you know, that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Okay. Well, that's all I had for today. Um, like I said, I wanted to mention the MST three K thing because I grew up on mystery science theater in a lot of ways. You know, I ran into it on, I think it was, um, Kimber. I think I first bounced into it on comedy central and then I watched it on sci-fi, you know, when it went into that format and it's all, it was always a fun, fun time, you know, to sit there. Matter of fact, I own like 10 volumes of the original series on DVD in the next room. And it was always, it's always great fun every now and then just to pop one in and have a great, great, good old belly lap. Well, until next time, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I've done ranting enough. So see you all later. See you on the flip side. Dr. Freedom out. Have a good one. And today, this weekend, we will face 